With Billy's Jammers Wheel Maven and Angelicide sideline due to injury, it opened the door for some of the first year Jammers to leave an impression, most notably Alex Bowden, aka Sparky. I'm an electrician, so that's why I couldn't figure out anything to make go with my actual name, so we went with that. Sparky, along with the nine other Fort St. John Kilbillies, took on the rated PG team from Prince George on Saturday, concluding their home schedule for the season. Like, I've never felt so tired ever playing a sport in my life, so it's really challenging, but I really like it. Exceptional jamming was too much for rated PG to contain. Through the first half, Fort St. John led 88-51 and carried their momentum into the second half. But it didn't come without some organizational changes from head coach Ashley Large. With the short bench, he split his squad into three lines of blockers rather than their normal two lines. What we started to see is we started to see that the jammers were getting to know what their girls were doing for them really quickly and it was allowing them to be more effective. The finished product, a 161-92 victory, sealing a 2-1 record at home this season. I think we did awesome. We really worked together and it was just really, we were really calm, so that worked really well with us. When asked about Sparky's role in the game, Large didn't hold back on his praise. She skated amazing. All I ever asked them is just don't give up. Just keep moving your feet and don't give up. And she played unbelievable. I just tried to use a lot less effort pushing and trying to do what Boom Boom does and go around people, trying different um, techniques basically so that I don't get so tired. But it's not quite the end of the road for the ladies in pink. This Saturday, they're in Peace River for a bout against the Rage and Fire team from Grand Prairie. And even if it takes another stellar performance out of the rookies, you can bet the Killbillies will be more than ready. Mitch Bach, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.